let's start very easy number seven, the X. Remember we have to get all nine numbers in not only every row, every column, every square, and each leg of the X. So, okay, so this nine cannot be in that row or this or this column, so it's there. Cannot be in this row or this column, so it's gotta be in one of those two. Can't be in either of these columns or this row, so it must be there. Cannot be in either of those rows, so it has to be here or here, and this is where the X helps me solve it because this leg of the X already has this nine here, so it cannot be there. Then I know this nine is here, and that cancels that one, making that nine there. For the eights, these two columns are already taken, so there's that eight. These two rows are covered, so that eight has to be there. These two columns have eights, and this row has an eight, so that eight has to be located there. These two rows are already covered, so this is where that eight goes, and these two columns are covered, leaving that eight. For the sevens, we're gonna look at this center square. It only has two possibilities. This one is not possible, so that's got to be the seven. This square, these two are not possible, and this one's not possible. So there's the seven there. All those sevens are placed. As far as these sixes, I'm gonna look over here first. This cancels out that row, and this that column, so that's the only availability there. Looking at this square, no, 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 so there's the yes. And this square, no, 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 so there's the yes. As far as the fives, I'm looking down both of these columns are no's, so it has to be here. Once I know that, I can look up this leg and see if it gives us the rest of the information, and it does. On this leg, the five can't be in these three because this square already has a five. It can't be in these three because this square already has a five. So it has to be in one of these threes. That's already filled in. That's not possible. So that's where the five belongs. Then I come across, these two rows are already taken, leaving only that one available and these two are already taken, so that's where that one goes. Last but not least is this square, and these two rows are taken, so the five goes there. On to the fours. Here we have a couple things, let's see. Not a lot of information on the four. We'll start over here, because it gives us an absolute. There's only two possibilities, and this one is not possible because this four is already on that same leg of the X, so that four has to be there. That then makes this not possible, so now we know this one, and that makes this impossible, so we know that one. That now makes these impossible, so that goes there. That now makes that one impossible, so that one goes there. And now we have these two columns filled, this row filled, so that four goes there. Once you find that first one that gives you information, it leads to the information on the rest. So this three and this three leave only this square open. Um, this three means this square is not available, so this has got to be where it goes. Let's see, this square or this yeah, square only has one place left, and it's right there, so that's got to be the three. And now that makes that impossible, so that three goes there. Only one spot left here for that two, which then makes that impossible, so that makes this the answer. Only one spot left here, so it goes there. Only one spot left here, so it goes there. This makes that impossible, so this two must go there. Only one spot left here, so it goes there. And two spots, this can't be it, so it's gotta be there. And then the ones, fill in the rest of the spots. 
And that was it.